Well, I've got a wiring problem with this trailer. I don't have any running lights. I've got turn signals and brake lights, but no uh, running lights. So to make it easier to troubleshoot this, I'm going to make myself a little uh, tester for a, a seven pin round connector. So I did. Went down and got a few things from TSC. Got this little uh, connector to plug into, and I got a bunch of switches. And I'm going to make me a uh, little box of some sort as soon as I figure out what I want to make it out of. I don't know if I've got any. I could almost put switches in this thing here. Yeah, probably that there. And uh, I'll make it work somehow. And uh, unless I find some kind of another box that's better. And anyways, then uh, I'll clip it onto the battery and then I can use that to with the toggles I can turn different things on and off at different times and find out where my power is failing at. Now I, can, I don't have to hook it up to a vehicle. I can just flip switches and it'll test it. And uh, now i got different kinds of different gauges and colors and all kinds of stuff like this for wiring. So we'll get what we need here and I'll rig her up and then uh, we'll see what we can put together. Well, this is what I come up with so far. I got a uh, connector and then left and right turn signal, um, trailer lights, brake light, and this will be brakes, which I won't need unless uh, I'm actually troubleshooting the brakes themselves, but I thought I'd throw it on there. And uh, so now I just got to wire it up and we'll go from there. Okay, here's what I've got so far on this uh, test box. I've got uh, this connector, I got to screw that down. I'm going to use these screws that I put in here temporarily and they will go into that. And I got different screws I'll put in here. And she's wired. Uh, get her around so you can see it a little better. The red wires jump her from point to point to point and then it's got one red wire that comes out and then that's going to go to a uh, alligator clip that will go on a battery and then I got a black that goes down to the case and that'll have the other alligator clip on to go to the battery and then this here box is grounded and then this will be grounded to the proper ground point in there and then if I need to I'm going to put a separate ground right off the box that will ground right to the trailer frame itself if I need to use that for troubleshooting purposes. Um, for the time being I don't think I need to put that one on there but I don't know. Uh, just see how things go. But anyway so then once I fasten this down on here I've got a power. Turn power on then I've got running lights, left and right turn signals and uh, this will be for brakes eventually. But I think before I use that for brakes, I'm going to take and put a um, voltage reducer in there to grab it down to about 6 volts or somewhere in that neighborhood so I'm not putting all 12 volts right to the brakes like that. And uh, I'll uh, finish this up and then we'll finish up the video later. See you later. make one little change to it, but other than that it worked fine. I had to change and put uh, these type of terminals on here because a little alligator clip to get enough juice through. But uh, yeah, push power on, you got left, right, turn signal and your brakes and your trailer. I think I'm going to label it so I know what it is what in the future, but uh, actually the having the brake switch on there is kind of a uh, 
a plus because when you're wiring it up, it's nice to know where you're actually putting the ring. So, she worked fine. Thanks for watching.